this is Mari with Oracle Cloud. And today we have a special guest all the way from Switzerland, Dr. Stefan Beer from Phoenix Real-Time Solutions. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Mari. Thanks for having me on the show. Hi, I'm so excited that we got to do this finally after over three years of working together. So I'm so excited to have you. I'm excited too. Okay, so now with the onset of the pandemic, um, you know, getting a content on demand, but not just any content, but quality content on demand in real time, that need has shot up. And um, so with that, could you tell us a little bit about what your company does and how you fit into that, you know, a trend? Yes, for sure. Uh, we provide real time broadcasting experiences for sports content, fan engagement, online concerts, uh, sports betting, and mm -hmm. online auctions. And then when you say, you know, real time, because I feel like that word is used quite often. Um, what exactly do you mean? Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, typically, when we refer to real time is glass to glass, less than half a second. Um, so that what happens on the field at the, at the track or on the, on the, uh, uh, football field is visible to the audience in less than half a second on their phone or, or on their computers or, or connected TVs. Um, now this year, when we introduced the brand new, um, you know, uh, uh, E3 flexible core and the flexible memory shapes, I mean, you were really, really excited about that. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about why you were looking forward to this launch of our new flexible shape and how it's been helping your um, uh, platform run better? Yeah, we're very excited about the uh, E3 flex shapes. Um, you know, in one part from, from our workloads, we, we have to deal with thundering words, a large number of people uh, tuning in to broadcast um, without necessarily uh, having a clear, um, you know, picture ahead of time to when that actually will happen. Um, and so we need to be able to scale up um, in terms of um, delivering content. At the same time, we also you know, have content quality that requires CPU to, uh, in, to deliver the, the number of packets per second that, that are required to meet the, you know, the um, desire for high quality content. Um, and so, so those together, um, the, the E3 is an amazing uh, evolution that was truly a game changer that improved performance uh, in just raw performance compared to prior models by over 30%. And, uh, and, and the, the true value is actually also in the, in the cost performance where it's really outpacing anything you're seeing in the market from and all, all other cloud vendors. Um, so it, it's definitely a game-changing uh, uh, product that enabled us to do better and more uh, with less in that sense. Yeah, that's that's amazing. That's great. Um, I know you were excited. I was so excited about it. And when we say flex, uh, for those of you out there, um, you know, not familiar with the E3 uh, flex shape offering on our compute cloud service, um, you get to choose the number of cores that you want to use uh, and the number of memories. And, you know, be, for you to be able to choose that, um, you know, based on your workload demand um, and requirement, um, how much exactly were you able to save up, uh, let's say, in a cost, you know, cost alone? Yeah, being able to use flex instances over like predefined instances uh, itself, I think, came with uh, more than 40 percent. Um, yeah. reduction in operating cost without having any impact on total um uh, what, what we can deliver right uh, so so there yeah that, that was that was a huge uh value to us to just be able to uh turn into you know from step from from pre-shaped uh, shapes to uh to to flex shapes and i'm sure your uh, finance department love you for that right yeah they were very excited today <laughs> so, i remember <laughs> They're like, wow, 40%, that's great. And then I have to say that's without compromising performance. I mean, if anything, I think with the, with the use of E3, um, performance was actually better, right? Even disregarding the cost was better than the previous um, shapes that we were offering, correct? Yeah, the E3 are just in pure performance. Uh, 
outperforming uh, prior shakes by more than 30 percent and uh, um you know they're they're definitely top of the line in terms of what's what's possible in performance right now at at, at scale uh in the cloud and uh, yeah i mean the price price uh, value is even bigger than or even even, even more advantage than that right because they typically come at the lower price point because of their uh, higher efficiency and does that make it easier for you to you know go after a new workload new event new clients um if now that you're able to specifically control the number of you know cores and memories and then have that cost performance at you know much better um you know a level like does that help you absolutely i mean the you know the input the cost of goods sold obviously is a crit critical part of any any mm -hmm. viable business and you know and how that relates into what market pricing you can um, um, demand um, from the market and what are your input costs, right? And I think being able to have that balance uh, allows us to to uh, serve markets now that uh, was more challenging before. And so so the, our business has tremendously increased mm -hmm. in the recent months, uh, you know, driven by uh, factors, obviously, that that there is a need now for much more online engagement than there was 12 months ago. And right. the, 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 the trends that we have been looking for have uh, truly been uh, accelerated uh, in, in this uh, uh, difficult times but uh, yeah we, we definitely with the east was uh, amazing that uh, it all came together and enabled us to execute and i i gotta ask um without saying a name um how does that how does our e3 flex shape perform compared to other cloud providers you have tried yeah, I think the, I mean, the E3s outperform, um, um, you know, the most um, shapes that people will be familiar with, with, you know, the cloud awareness. And, and in our case, uh, there was, it was no different. Uh, it's, it's our preferred shape now uh, because of the performance that it gives. Um, and so it's, uh, you know, compared to like all the generations of uh, shapes, right? And mm. uh, it, it outperforms by, you know, 20% or more. That's really awesome. Um, I'm happy when you're happy. We're all happy to support you um, and your company's endeavors. So this is all great. Um, now, um, I know that you're using this AMD you know, E3 Flex Shapes all over the world. And I mean, when you say all over the world, um, you're using in over three, at this time, I think over 11 different regions all around the, the world. Um, over 9,000 cores. What are you looking for in the future? Are you looking to leverage uh, more regions as we add more regions? I, obviously, we have a lot more regions coming in in the near future. Um, or that, is that something that you're interested in as well? Yeah, definitely. We, are, we have been uh, focusing heavily on our um, uh, platform development and to, for the next generation of uh, what was today already a zero ops uh, set up, right? And that's going to rely on uh, partners uh, like yours that are really good at providing infrastructure that we don't have to worry about, um, you know, the details of many, you know, foots on the floor to fix things. Uh, so we have built this platform today, um, operating um, dozens of, of regions uh, globally um, to deliver the real time content. and next generation will, will push it more and more, more uh, regions um, and, uh, you know, kind of a, even more autonomous than it is today um, as, as we are rolling out uh, new, new features for what we call our auto scaler. It's, it's the, the, the piece that uh, scales the platform autonomously to right. the workloads that, that we have on the platform. Well, so here we have it. Great news to hear. Wonderful to have you again. Thanks for having me, Mary. That was great. Keep up the good work. <laughs> keep up. You gotta keep. Okay, don't cut that. Please put that in. Keep up the good work. Please put that in. <laughs>